Hey, it's Alan from Aviary. I'm going to give you a quick overview of our new audio editing application called Mina. And the first thing to notice is that you're presented with a series of tracks, and this is where you will arrange clips to create your final mix down. There are several ways to get clips into the application, such as importing from your desktop, recording directly into the app, or by browsing one of our provided libraries. The way this works is that you can look through a library, find a piece of content, and preview it. and then simply drag it into the application onto one of the available tracks. Now the first thing I'll do here is I'll set my tempo according to the tempo of the song and set snap to grid. And this allows me to move this clip around and do some more accurate editing. So let's grab some more content here. I'll grab an intro, put it on track one. I'm going to zoom out here a little bit. Go ahead and set these up and let's listen. Okay, that's cool. Now, there's a lot of features here that I won't go into detail on, but some of the things you can do is you can trim these clips. You can apply some automation, which I'll put on a fade in. And this is interactive, so you can adjust the curve how you like. I'll do the same thing to the intro. Put in a fade out. And let's listen to the transition. Okay, let's tuck those away, and let's find an end. And essentially what I've done here is create a little mix out of three different clips. Now, something else we can do is we can record directly into the app. And what I'll do is make a quick recording of my voice. This is the sound of my voice recorded directly into Mina. Okay, so what this does is it records it on the server, and it's available for you to import into your project. Now all of the files that you import into your project will show up over here into the imported files list. Now here's my recording and I can drag this in and let's listen to it with the mix. This is the sound of my voice recorded directly into my own. Okay. So let's put some effects on this. Um, I'll put some reverb on it and we'll have fun with a little pitch change. This is the sound of my voice recorded directly into my mouth. This. Okay. So you notice I had a little click there at the end. You can easily get rid of it by simply trimming it out. And maybe we'll pan this from left to right as it plays. Let's hear that. It's a little quiet, so I will apply some gain to it. Take it up a few dB. This is the sound of my voice recorded directly into my mind. Okay, once we have a mix, we can save our project, which will allow us to open this later. But this isn't the final mix down. The way you do that is you choose the mix down button here which will render this mix into a final audio file that you can either export to your desktop or you can publish it back to the server. So what I'll do is I'll just save this on to my desktop and then we can hear that. This is the sound of my voice recorded directly into my Okay, so we've created a little mix and we've saved this back to the website and now we can actually share and collaborate with other users on our project.